What it do, peeps? Here is my review for Netflix Transformers or Transformers Netflix Bumblebee. I was actually thinking about doing like picture reviews on my Instagram page just because I was just way behind on my reviews. Uh, just scheduling for them was pretty hard and been pretty busy recently. So it's just been trying to catch up as much as I can as far as reviews go. So you know what? And I just told myself I have like two more Netflix figures, which is Bumblebee and Soundwave. So I might just do those. I have Sunstreaker and Trailbreaker from the Earthrise series, and I might just do picture reviews on that one. And uh, then I got more reviews or more figures to review, so I might just do the Netflix ones. Then I'll start off with those with uh, the Studio series. I got Hot Rod, and uh, I got the two pack from the Earthrise or the Cybertron trilogy um, Barricade and uh, Punch slash Counter Punch. But, yeah, this is Bumblebee right here. I had him in December. I'm just now getting the review. Uh, still in the box. We got Bumblebee right here. We got the 3D image of him right here. And in vehicle mode, we also have the Earthrise promotional picture right here. With the Netflix right on top. So, barcode, everything. White box show that it's from the Netflix series so we'll open this open and uh get straight to it all right so here is Bumblebee in vehicle mode awesome scale of this figure right here uh, vehicle mode it's pretty tiny just like his uh mold buddy cliff jumper it's pretty tiny but different as you can tell he does look more like himself which is a beetle Volkswagen beetle does have that logo right here for the Volkswagen right there different back right here you can say everything about them right now in vehicle mode looks totally different looks just like a beetle nothing I can really tell looking from clip jumper that they're sharing the same like the same like mold transformation is the same but not the mold for vehicle mode which is cool um, couple gripes as well just one gripe in vehicle mode it's just that the <coughs> excuse me the paint here and on the doors is much darker than the actual paint on the rest of him in vehicle mode which sucks and i got some like paint blotches right here that's not yellow it's kind of like blackish so that sucks but here is his weapon right here which is the bazooka same thing as cliff jumper you can take this out right here and they turn into a little well i won't say little but they turn into handguns as well uh, sucks that he didn't have his own what like a different weapon but it is what it is so we'll go ahead and go and fix this here we'll go ahead and transform him into robot mode so just like cliff jumper just want to take it, get this out right here, kind of groove this out right here. Hands is pretty tight as holding the back right here. So we'll set this off to the side right here. Then we'll get the doors going. So we can pop this right here. Sorry about that, guys. So, where are we already? So, doors here. Then we can kind of just slide the feet out right here. I can loosen it up right here. This figure does not want to move at all. Come on. There we go. So, loosen this up right here. There we go. So, you can get the wheels right here, bend them down, 
can go right here, slide this right here, do that right here. Then you can close the back right here. So this peg can go into one of the pegs or the hubcaps of right here of his wheel. And that makes his feet right here. So you can lift this up right here at this point. Then you can turn it right here. So this locks him not going forward right here. So right there. Then we're almost done. So we'll get his chest right here. Bend it down. Actually, then we're gonna go arms up right here. Then we can get his arms down here. Twist his wrist right here. Then last but not least, you can get the back right here. Then you want to plug it into this port right here. So to complete the transformation. There we go. And here is Bumblebee in robot mode. Alrighty, so we'll do a comparison right here next to Cliff Jumper. So it's pretty awesome to have these two together side by side. Obviously they have different heads, feet. They share the same shoulder, just different colorways. So his is red, his is black. They share the same legs right here. Same crotch. Back is obviously different right here. Uh, a little more focus right here onto Bumblebee. One issue, ooh, one issue I have is that my Bumblebee, if it can focus, really close up, he looks, his eyes are just like faded blue. So it looks like he's high or he's dying. <coughs> Which, that's like my only gripe as far as like the color of the, some parts of the vehicle mode and just his face right here. So, but articulation is the same. So he can go up that far, 360 right here. You get the bicep swivel. Mine's is pretty tight. Just, I just got him out of the box. Wrist swivel right here. He does have a waist right here. Go, go 360. I won't show it. Heads on a ball joint. It's pretty tight, but he can go 360 as well. He can kick that far, kick back that far. He can hit the splits just about. Split is stopping it. And he has articulation right here to do some ankle rockers right here for posing right here. And again, he does come with the same weapons as cliff jumper which I'm just gonna keep it just like this to separate them so but yeah awesome figure he was one of the figures that I kept getting delayed on multiple multiple times with sorry I just keep knocking things all over the place uh, delays just with Walmart it's supposed to be October finally gone December two days after the two days after the date they told me it was gonna come but anyways, I got him. Was he worth the wait? I believe so. Worth the buy. If you can find him, I don't know if you can right now. It's pretty hard now to get him at this point. It is now February 1st as I'm doing this review. So, like, it was already hard when he first got out. I think it was harder in January if anyone found him. At this point, I think he's just, he's just sold out. Um, yeah, I mean... It's a bummer that the weapons is the same as Cliff Jumper. I wish that he had his own separate weapons, that he didn't have to buy that silver droid, that Centurion droid, if that's what it's called, just to get those additional weapons. Cool concept of getting additional weapons, but spending $30 on just a remodeled or recolored figure just to get additional weapons kind of suck. But, I mean, I would have done it anyways if I had the opportunity but again not a deal breaker because he's sharing the same weapons obviously you can convert it to two the bazooka to two guns right here but yeah this is my review uh worth the buy like I mentioned before if you like this channel you like this video thumbs up subscribe 
and um, catch my last reviews, which would have been Runamuck and Runabout. I'll catch you guys later.